Hey, uh, hadn't been able to do very much here lately. I kind of, kind of whacked my foot, and uh, so I'm going to flip flop around in flip flops. But I was kind of working in the shop a little bit today. Uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. I was going to let you have a look at my shop. I've, uh, I made this several years ago. This was a carport, you can tell. And I just uh, went to Lowe's. They had these, these are fence. These are fence planks. That you make a fence out of, just like over there. And uh, they, were, they were running a sale at uh, 77 cents a board. So I just didn't uh, close the carport with these fence boards and stained it. <laughs> uh, it's worked out real well. Like I said, I've done this several years ago and I just insulated it uh, with these tarps and I heat it in the winter time uh, with a uh, propane heater. But anyway, what I've been doing here uh, I've been aiming to do for several years. All my nuts, bolts, and screws were out in a garden shed. And I'm putting up these little storage bins so I can finally separate all my screws, bolts, and nails. I got these on eBay. They were $13, shipping and all, uh, for these. They've got large bins and small bins. And, uh, you see they fit right, right nicely in between uh, the two befores. They got six screws that hold them up. And uh, the little bins, they just pop right out. So uh, that's kind of a cheap way to get uh, all your nuts and bolts and all straightened out. I'm going to put uh, this last one over here. I've got some nails sticking through. I've got to grind off to get them up. And uh, maybe this will be enough for a while. <laughs> uh, I get them all up there. On a rainy day, I can come out here and separate nuts, bolts, and screws. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's about all, all I can do to my foot gets better but this is a shop just made out of a carport and uh, we got lots of lights in here cause uh, my son uh, he paints uh, well he painted this truck we painted it in here so That's what I've been doing. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I moved the truck out. Give more room. I went and got a wheelbar load full of, you see, why I wanted to sort all this stuff. Uh, all this was crammed in an old cabinet I used to have in my service van. And then it stuff had crammed in on top of it. I found stuff I didn't even know I had. I got all the uh, little bins put up. I may have to have more. But anyway, this is a good rainy day project here to sort all these screws. And they are mixed up. Uh, I built on a uh, room here with a workbench in it and toolboxes in it and a place to keep the drills and everything and air compressor and then uh, my son's uh, body work some of his body work tools I'm going to put wheels on this table so I can roll it around I got those ordered on eBay uh, Thank goodness for eBay.
couldn't afford to do anything without eBay. You can see the top of the carport. I insulated with those just tarps. Got a garage door opener. Uh, originally, this carport was longer. When we had it cut off, we used it for a carport. Uh, smaller, so I added on on the end of it. We added on oh about ten feet, I guess. Cut off about four, and then we added about ten on it. Put a back door on it. got some old plywood and stuff out there. I'm going to put a shelf here and put all this cleaning stuff on it. I get, get this stuff off the floor. I found some wheels I didn't know I had. I think I'll put, put them on this little table here and make it a roll around too. I didn't even know I had those wheels. They were stuck in all these nails and screws and bolts. And there's, I've got more nail screws and bolts too. They're there in the uh, tool part of the garage. Okay. Thanks for watching. Well, I've been working about two hours. And that's what I've got through. The job I've been putting off for several years. But, I think it's going to be worth it. all the containers that I emptied and that's not counting the ones that wouldn't even in a container they were just all piled together well here's over four hours worth of work still like a few nails here in the wheelbar that's the job it takes a long time all that's trash, that's all the empty packages. Got a few more nails there. But I'm gonna finish. I'm glad to have this done. I still got some more over in the tool building there that I need to sort. Still got a little bit more to do. Hey, got my casters today from eBay. I'm going to put them on this table here. I'll cut the legs off and make this table so I can roll it around. That's something I'm going to do. And uh, got the truck moved out. Sitting out there. Cleared the place out. I've got a piece of plywood out there. I'm going to make a shelf. to use it and put a shelf over here put all this cleaning stuff on in that little table there underneath it. It's been sitting out here forever. I'm going to put casters on it and make a little roll around table out of it I believe rather than just throw it away. Uh, that's kind of what I'm going to work on today is work on this shaft. Okay. Here's my piece of plywood I've had out in the garden shed forever. Thought I'd make a use out of it. I'm thinking I'll put it in between those two befores and use these little scraps that I had out there too to get rid of them. And make a shelf right to the right of that hose. I'll put these cleaning supplies on it. And that way you can still roll stuff up under it. Okay, 
I got the uh, the scrap two bore fours I had leveled and put up there where I want the shaft. And I've got the plywood marked off. I'm gonna notch them off to go back inside of these uh, studs. I'm gonna go round up my saw to do that with. Now I was fixed to cut out that plywood, but I thought I'd show you something. We always put tomato plants out, but this year I thought I'd just experiment. There's my tomato plants. I put a cucumber and I staked it like a tomato <laughs> just to see what it would do. And look up under there. Can you see that cucumber? And my wife just came out here and got one twice that size that was hanging on the other side. I didn't know whether you could support a cucumber uh, staking it because normally they grow across the dirt, you know. But uh, <laughs> I just thought I'd show you show you that. A little unusual. So. We'll get back in here and notch out this uh, plywood. We'll get it, take a jigsaw, I guess, and I've got it marked off our, and we'll notch it out and see if it'll fit. Got it notched out. And if my measurement's right, we'll set it up there and see if it works. There we go. Got it up in there. So we'll just fasten it down there and put this stuff over here on there. Uh, pretty good project. It's about 90 something, nearly 100 degrees today. So this is some little old project to do. I got my fan up there. Just something to do to pass the day and clean up the shop a little bit. Won't be long here until I'll have to service the Prius. It's got its 120 mile service coming up. I think I like about 1500 miles. So maybe I'll have everything nice and neat in here for that. The Prius is going to have to have uh, I'm going to change the brakes. They're probably alright but it's 120,000 miles. I'm going to change the transmission fluid oil and filter, cabin filter, uh, serpentine belt, all the things it list is for 120000 The belt, the last time I checked, it looked okay, but I'll probably just change it anyway. Okay, we'll fasten that piece of plywood down. Well, I got it screwed down to those two befores. make it easy to take up if I needed to. But uh, I wanted to keep stuff off the floor so I could clean up in here. There's got to be so much stuff down on the floor. I like to be able to wash the floor out and clean it up. Okay. We'll start putting stuff on it, I guess. Now that's that's way better. Way better. I can put stuff up underneath there. It rolls around. Next thing I'm going to do is take this old cabinet that was left here and uh, we'll try to put some. Uh, I found these rollers in my stash of stuff. Didn't even know I had. Let me see if I can put the rollers on there. And maybe put a couple of shelves in it and use it for a table just to roll around when I'm working on a, a car or something. Okay. This uh, material here was some I had left over from doing the eco bathroom 
if you uh, went back a little ways and saw where I made an eco bathroom to go in my barn. <laughs> and uh, these casters were stuck in the cabinet where, all, where I had all those screws. Didn't even know I had them. I've got stops on them. So I like using stuff that I've already got. So I turned this little cabinet upside down and I was going to put a, this base on it here so I could fasten the wheels and be a little sturdier. Hey, I'm uh, always working on multiple things. I took a little break for lunch. And uh, I'm also working on the sink. You can see there, I got the Moven sink fixture. These Moven are kind of expensive, but that's what I put in the house, all over the house. But I seem to have trouble with them all the time. This one, the uh, handle broke off. The threads just wallered out in it. It's the hot water side. I tried to, you know, to fix it with some other stuff. It didn't work. Uh, this stuff here has been around for a long time, but you can't hardly find it anywhere. It's PC-7, so I'm going to try it on it and uh, see if it works. So I'm doing this along with uh, working on the shop out there, too. Uh, I'll come back and let you know if this works or not. Okay, we're back out here in the shop. I'm getting ready to put the casters on the bottom of this. I just cut everything out with a jigsaw. <laughs> Didn't want to go to the trouble of bringing any more tools. I mean, it's just a work table. Mm. Okay. Get these things put on. Okay. Got the wheels on. We'll turn the dude over and see if we can uh, put some shelves on the inside. I'll try taking this back off and I think the the shelf or shelves whatever I put in it will uh, stable it up without that back on it well I got the back off of it and we'll see if I can uh, put at least one shelf or two in in there see if it I've got the stuff to do it with this is just an old end table, but I think uh, my son or somebody left it here and it's just been sitting in here. So I thought, well, it'd be a good little table to uh, roll around and work on your car with. I don't like to throw stuff away. Try to uh, make something out of anything and use the stuff I got. Got one of the shelves cut out. Stick it in there and see how it goes. Okay, got the second shelf to cut out. I guess I should have got the tripod and set it up, but I didn't realize I was going to do this much today. But we'll try it this way and I'll edit it and see how it turns out. Okay, stick this shelf in. Yeah, made that top shelf. Had to notch out the corners a little bit. Let's see, stick it in here. There we go. Should be a pretty good little roll around cabinet to put your tools in and work off the top of it. And basically it didn't cost nothing but my time. And cleaned up cleaned up my wall over here. Got everything on that shelf I made. cut out some little strips out of what I had left here. I'm going to put some little strips on the side here so you put any tools in there. They won't fall out. Just about used all of my leftover material. I'll probably use this piece too. Well, there's my cabinet. Didn't cost me anything, had everything, 
made use of an old end table. This will make a pretty good table to when you're changing the oil or working on a card. Put your stuff on. And I can roll it around. Get it out of the way. Probably put it over under those shelves. Uh, I appreciate you watching. If you ever want to make any comments or ask me a question, I don't care to answer them. Uh, you know, if you want to subscribe and hit that bell next to the subscribe, you'll be notified when I'm doing something else. Thanks again for watching. Gave it a little paint job with some old flat black. Left the top a little light so you could see things on it. I think it'll work good for a roll around table here in the shop. Well, it's the next day. Uh, I'm going to take this uh, table, which we've been using for everything out here in the shop. And uh, I'm going to put these wheels that I got off of eBay for $20 on it so I can roll it around. And I'll be through with my kind of cleanup out here in the shop. Got that shelf. Put wheels on that little table. Painted it up. And... Uh, it just rolls around. put things underneath it and I'm gonna fix this one with a roll around okay get started okay I took this block and went around and marked the legs off to make room for these wheels Saw them off there with the skill saw. Okay, get that done. Got them sawed off. Found another piece of plywood. This is my last big scrap. I, uh, I'm going to cut out a base to put over the legs so that it'll all be uh, even to mount the wheels to. Okay, got that piece cut out and uh, screwed down with some sheetrock screws. And I'm going to take the wheels, wheels, and mount them on. Okay, got the wheels on. Turn it over and see how it looks. Well, there we are. Now we can roll this table around. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and uh, any comments, I'll be glad to answer them. Thanks again for watching. Oh, I thought I'd throw in here and let you look at the cucumber this morning. And my staked.
cucumber. <laughs> and look at the look at the big cucumber hanging hanging underneath it. <laughs> there's, there's a little little cucumber up under there. I don't know whether you can see it or not. They hide from me. There's a little cucumber. See it there? Huh. So it looks like you can stake a cucumber. <laughs> Who would have thought? And keep keep letting it go up. There's a little cucumber down in there. Yeah, found out something new. Uh, before I leave, I thought I'd uh, show you the sink that I was working on at the same time. This morning, this handle is hard in there. I mean, it's, I don't know, we'll, I'm going to let it sit out here for a, Few more hours so it's about 24 hours probably been about 17 now and uh, put it back on and maybe it'll work this stuff is supposed to be really good but it don't harden in an hour or two it takes it about 24 hours and it's probably been about 15 16 or something on this and uh, You know, the threads were uh, wallered out in it because we used the hot side, I guess, more than than others. I was looking on uh, faucets on the internet, and everybody now prefers the one-handle type. Uh, and every brand is selling them with a high-rise like this, but they only have one one knob here, and it's a ball, you know, type. Uh, so there's no uh, threaded parts and handles to come off. and So if I do have to replace it, that's probably the way I'll go. Uh, I used to use one-handle faucet stuff, but uh, I kind of like being able to adjust the water separately, but I don't like having to replace and repair faucets every four or five years either. <laughs> uh, I bought this one because it was supposed to be really good. And uh, here I am trying to fix a handle. Okay. Thanks again for watching. I believe this is all this time. I just happened had an afterthought that I, I should show you how this faucet turned out. I'm always doing two or three things at once. Kind of crazy, I guess. Thanks for watching.